Hello again, ladies and gents, boys and girls. It's Monkey Mid here again for another roundup of Kiss Seven Inch Singles. Um, I know we're going through very strange times at the moment with the whole coronavirus thing, so I'm hoping for the next 20 minutes I can take your mind off that. Uh, hopefully, anyway, maybe not all of you, but some of you. Um, but anyway, shall we crack on? I haven't done Seven Inch Singles for a little while. The last video I did was. Um, I did some Kiss bootlegs, I bought a few, but I uh, bought a few new singles, good Kiss ones, so uh, let's move on. First one. Okay, the first single I got, and I don't know if you know um, uh, my way of collecting or what I like to collect. I normally only collect the classic Kiss period, which would be from 73 to 83, and only makeup stuff as well. I've let the side down a little bit. And picked up one of these. There we go. Actually, I'll take this thing out. Yeah. There we go. Um, lick it up. Uh, seven inch. Uh, UK pressing. Okay. Um, I did say I wasn't going to buy stuff that was uh, kind of like non makeup, but I lied. <laughs> um, I always thought Lick It Up, the actual album itself, could have been um, a Kiss makeup album. It would have been nice to give Vinny a chance to maybe um, express his um, kind of like his the meaning behind his makeup and everything, uh, or just have a picture of Vinny uh, on an album uh, with his makeup. But that never materialised, unfortunately, unless you've got those um, dodgy counterfeit copies of Creatures of the Night album with Vinny on it, which actually looks quite nice. If anyone got a spare one, I wouldn't mind one myself. Um, but, um, oh, do you know what? I love Lick It Up. I think it's a great album. It could have been a makeup album. Do you agree or not? I don't know. Uh, each their own. I think it could have been a makeup album. And then when it got to Animal Eyes, I think mm, uh, things started to get a little bit shit then. You know. Burn, bitch, burn. What's that about? Anyway, uh, Lick It Up, great album. So I thought, do you know what? I'll collect the old single maybe from, from that album, uh, which I have done. There you go. Lick It Up. There's the front. Uh, there's the back. Uh, just quite a quite a standard-ish uh, cover. I think they used this one, this picture cover, possibly in uh, the Netherlands, but I can't remember. Uh, certainly in Canada they did. Okay. Anyway, not the most interesting labels. There you go. And the B side is "Not for the Innocents," which is a great song, really. So. Uh, so there you go. So that's a lick it up UK issue. There you go. Moving on. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> Did it a second time. Lick it up again. Uh, now this is a span. Uh, oh, there is Spanish. Yes, Madrid, Spain, Spanish. Um, I just thought this was um, um, just a little bit different to the uh, Lick It Up UK issue, which. Um, they've, uh, although they have used this um, picture for a few other seven inch singles of Lick It Up um, around the world. So, um, yeah, just thought I had this. It was quite cheap. It cost me, what, less than £10, including postage. So that, that was a good price. Uh, all the way from Spain. Anyway, there you go. There's that. And there's that the back. Not the most interesting. And again, there's the, uh, the label. And that's the label there, and that's that. So um, let's say it's um, nothing overly interesting, but uh, quite nice to have. So there you go. I might venture on to All Hell's Breaking Loose single uh, if I see one that I quite like. Quite like Japanese one. That would be the one with the red background, and you've got the four of them standing there. That 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 is quite a nice single, so I might try and pick that one up if I can. But that's it. That will be the end. No more. I'm not moving on to uh, singles from Animal Eyes and uh, Asylum. None of that old crap, in my opinion. There you go. Right. Let's move on to the next. Right. Let's get back to the good old uh, good old days of Kiss, shall we say? Back to the 70s again. Here we go. Now, this is nothing interesting, really. Um, Christine 16, okay. This is an American issue. Uh, just a standard, bog standard American 7-inch. Nothing uh, interesting about it. I have got a copy of this, but it's a Swedish one. Well, 
It was a Swedish cover. Um, for you Kiss fans or diehards out there, know which one I'm talking about. It's the black and white one. It's a Swedish cover, but it's got the American single inside. A lot of the Swedish um, issues use the American um, uh, seven inch um, uh, vinyl. So I thought I'd just get this one on its own with the Casablanca sleeve. Okay, so it's really nothing special, this one. Okay, so Christine 16, shock me on the B side. Uh, I'm not even worth getting this one out really because it's just a standard Casablanca USA single, okay? And this one, incidentally, also came, do you know what, am I right in saying this? Came on the um, the Camel label. I think it came on a Camel label as well, which I think I have. I can't remember these things. I've got too many records. Oh, there you go. Let's move on. Okay. What have we got here? Ooh. Radioactive. Now, I have done this one before, okay? But believe it or not, there are a few variations on this one, okay? Just bear with me, okay? So you've seen me do this uh, this one before, a few um, episodes back. Let me see which one this is, because I've got about two or three. Aha! Okay. Now, the reason why I bought this one was, um, not because I'm a nutter and got too much money to waste. Uh, certainly not that. Okay, let me show you the inside. I don't know if you can see that. It's got kind of like a marble effect, okay? Um, rumour has it, although it's not a rumour. Um, I think when they printed this at the factory, at the pie factory in the UK, uh, someone accidentally dropped a black pellet, a very small amount sort of thing. And this is the effect you get, okay? And there you go. So that's the front and that's the back. But I have a better one than this, which um, we'll go into a bit later, okay? But that is the effect you have. Now I've seen some of these which have got like a, a small black mark, a small speck on the record and uh, people send them for a lot of money. But the effect isn't as good as this, okay? The, although I've got a better one than this, okay? Uh, which I'll show you later, as I said before. Um, but the ones uh, I've seen on eBay have only got little small specks, okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, nevertheless, I suppose that's still a misprint kind of thing, but the effect is not as good as this, okay? Right. There we go. So radioactive. Oh, you, you've seen this before. That's the front and that's the back. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay. A list of names. Now that little piece of information I gave you, um, I got from Marcus Stevens, uh, someone I'm kind of like in touch with uh, on Facebook with regards to uh, Kiss Final, and he's a very knowledgeable guy. So thank you very much for that, Marcus. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, let's move on. Ah, Another copy of Radioactive. Okay, um, why have I got this? <laughs> no, it's not the marble effect. Um, okay. I'm not, not sure if you can tell by looking at it, but uh, the actual red vinyl colour is more of a, uh, a transparent colour, not a solid red. I've got an example here of the solid red one, okay? There you go, there's the solid red one, just the more translucent. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the difference? You probably can't. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's the difference, okay? So uh, I think the solid red ones are, are slightly rarer, correct me if I'm wrong, and translucent ones are a little bit harder to find, okay? So that's uh, that. But there's another reason why I bought this one, okay? Uh, Again, a lot of you diehards out there will probably know this, but uh, I'll go through it anyway. Sorry to bore everyone. Um, uh -huh. The mask. Okay, guys. There's the mask. Now, when you look for these, look for the colour of the blood here, okay? Blood out of Gene's, uh, Gene Simmons's mouth, okay? This is a very dark red. Oh. I have another one here. All right, guys. 
Here's the more standard one. Can you see the difference? There you go. That's a more lighter red. That's more like a, a, a sort of a pinky orangey red, okay? Now this is more the standard one. This is the slightly harder one to find, okay? Put this up aside. Now I hope you can see that, the difference. Now, there are four different types, okay? You've got these two here. And you've also got one that is grey, apparently, and one that is pink. Now, they're really hard to find, okay? Um, I don't know uh, where you would pick those up from. Probably keep looking on Discogs or eBay, and you might find one. But they are not easy to come by, okay? Um, so, again, thanks to everyone on, the, um, on, the, on Facebook. Uh, people like uh, Marcus Stevens, as I said, Henk that you are a man of knowledge you know it's good to good to get these facts so I'm pass them on to other people Scott Ray you're another one uh, you're a fab guy and um, thanks for the information uh, so you've got four different types of uh, colored blood so just spot that one out if you can okay right I will probably leave that there okay uh, let's move on Aha one I love it loud now this is an American an American Casablanca uh, label uh, this one's actually quite hard to get you don't see many of these um, and I was lucky enough to get this one uh, I did quite a good deal um, with someone Derek Fraser that's the name I was trying to remember uh, thank you very much for this um, I love it loud kiss Oh, I love it loud. And on the B side is... Uh, do you know what? It doesn't actually say it on the uh, sleeve. I'm going to get this out. Anyway. I love it loud. There we go. And danger is on the B side. Okay. There we go. And what I like about this record is not so much the front cover, but the back. Oh, oh, now that is a really nice picture. Why didn't they use that for the Creatures album? That would be so cool. That's a really nice picture. They've used this as a front cover for um, I Love It Loud 7-inch, I believe from Norway, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's either Norway. No, it's not Sweden, I think it's Norway, okay? And I'm trying to get hold of that. So this is the American Casablanca one. Very nice. I Love It Loud. Da -da. And uh, Happy Man. Yeah. Right, next up, we have, aha, uh -huh. I Love It Loud, a Japanese 7 inch. Um, again, I think this one's got Danger. No, it hasn't. This one's got Killer on the B side, okay? Um, danger might be the only B side for I Love It Loud in America. I could be wrong, I, I haven't looked that one up, so I can't remember. But uh, yeah, this is the Japanese one. Again from Derek Fraser. Thank you very much, Derek. I've been looking for this one for a while at the right price, but I didn't have to spend any money in the end. We did a quite a good trade, okay? That's it. It's on the Polystar label on the back. And of course, it's the sheet there. The Japanese sheet with the lyrics on the other side. There we go. I'll put that there. And inside it is the standard... Casablanca label, okay. There you go. That's that. Uh, this one again is uh, it's a bit of a hard one to find. You do get them, but um, my God, they're expensive. These, okay. There you go. We'll stick that down here. Move on to the next. Ah, another one I've been after for a long time. I'm a legend tonight. Okay, again, this one uh, came from Derek. Again, thank you very much for that, Derek. Uh, that's all I've got from Derek, by the way. I haven't got, <laughs> got any more. Um, so I'm very pleased with this one. Um, I'm a legend tonight. Again, it's a bit of a hard one to get and not cheap. Okay, this one isn't cheap. Um, if you bide your time, you might get it for around the 30 mark but you're looking between 30 and 40 I've seen them for up to 50 60 ridiculous prices absolutely ridiculous you know on the b-sides love gun there we go I'm a legend tonight and not many countries released I'm a legend tonight I, I should have done my facts before I did the video really but I believe Japan and maybe one other country would have done this um, 
I'll have to consult Hank's book. I can't remember, okay? Right, again, it's on a Polystar label. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. So there you have it. I'm a, a legend tonight. Let's move on. Aha. Okay. Now I said to myself I wasn't going to bother collecting these um, and what they are, they're promo singles, okay? They're not the most interesting things, but anyway, I've got a promo of um, Rocket Ride. This is on the Pi UK Pi label, Rocket Ride. Um, got a big not for sale sign there, but on the edge, on the bit of writing there, you have got not for sale promotional copy. Okay. But they're just not that interesting, but I got it for a good price, so I'm going to start collecting promos, I think, at a good price, of course. But I am not, and I'm going to stress this fact, I'm not going to go down the route of plant numbers like some people with the initials TS. Work that one out for yourself. <laughs> but hey, do you know what? If that's what you want to collect, uh, good luck to you. You know, everyone's got their, uh, their passion, what they want to collect out, out, out um, from a band or whatever. Um, yeah, if plant numbers your thing, go for it. Definitely. But anyway, so not the most interesting. There you go. That's Rocket Ride, and that is a Love Gun. Okay. Just comes in a standard Casablanca sleeve. And. That is it, really. Um, uh, what they always used to do back in the day with pies, they always put the um, uh, capital A there. Okay, I think that started from probably around Rocket Ride or Then She Kissed Me. There'll be a big A on there. Say so that's the A side, you know, um, and that's the side you need to play on the radio or whatever sort of thing. Okay, but anyway, there's a promotional copy. Okay. Right. Next up, oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to save that one for the next um, for the next uh, video of mine. Uh, I'm going to take a break now, and guys, I'll speak to you soon. Uh, look after each other during these very um, strange times we're going through, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, adios.